and what is up guys it's Kovin here and welcome back to the video so today i wanted to discuss the ta buff because some people are making it seem like it is as simple as she is now better than someone like cj um i think not so for us to understand let's actually go look at cj right so inferno legendary kenji <clears throat> now i don't use cj here but i do you see i do use cj on my main account and what they're talking about is this one it's more specifically the resonance 2 basically the reso 2 says uh mirroring hp is changed to swapping hp and the second one mirroring ap is changed to swapping ap now what's the big difference between cj and ta the big difference there is that with cj you can pick the ally that you want to swap with the enemy right yeah you i don't think you can pick the enemy i'm not sure but i'm sure you can pick the ally while as with let's do flow with the new ta um it actually reads this way uh if ap of the dark boss enemy with the highest ap is higher than with the with the lowest ap percent of your ally you can swap them this gives you way less control sure you can control using ap and i'll show you um in which case um these things can be very good or very bad but um let's just go into the test realm and let's show you something because some people are saying you can run ta with with like a slow dps and then that is just fine you run ta you run like two slow dps or like one slow dps and you run in a standard cleave right a standard cleave would be something like there is your unus right tier will be speed lead maybe there is your ashley right <clears throat> there is your unus there is your ashley that follows up and there's other people and then maybe you have your slowest dps now he is faster than the ashley in this account but just imagine that she is slower <laughs> right or maybe i should just get a slower dps i don't know but i'm here to tell you that uh a situation like this doesn't work actually let me do where is she um yeah just assume she is your ta right no not your ta sorry she is your um ashley or something like that the reason why this won't work is that ash um ta swaps with the highest hp uh, highest, uh, highest ap and lowest ap so what you do is that you will move with your unas this can be your dahlia this can be your unas right so you will move and then recognize now right let's open the ap bar recognize now that your tevo who's supposed to be lost is no longer lost the last one is unas let's even do it better let's move her right so your unas or dahlia moved and then maybe your sean pin or who's this your sean pin or ashley moved afterwards right ta now does not favor the tevo let's say everyone here is faster than this tevo right let's say maybe tevo was like here right uh, when we look at the ap bar you will not pull tevo to the front you will in fact pull your ashley or your um or your sean pin if you do the switch you see now problem here is my tevo is very fast so we might need to get rid of his speed boots right to just show you um <clears throat> like one of the the pitfalls of this so like you guys saw the first pitfall we won't be able to just put ta in the first team that we get right so let's let me remove this to make him slower there we go you guys saw the first pitfall with ta we won't be able to just chug her into our traditional cleave teams in fact she no longer works in them because she disturbs the 10 order very drastically right <clears throat> she disturbs the 10 order very drastically um yeah and this is the second situation um okay no um this is the first situation god damn it unas pushes let me do this let me leave 
let me <laughs> let me like not push with winners right i want a situation whereby yeah so let's say we do that okay here we go right there's people here there's tevo you will think the tier will push your tevo above all these people but that's not true because two other people have moved in fact the tier will push this lady above tevo right if you're looking at the bottom here right the 10 order so that's one of the pitfalls that people fall under i've seen people use again there's the right way to use her and it would need um someone like sean Penn is quite perfect right but if it's not a sean Penn, if it's something like a um who's this if it's something like um like an unas alone right okay let's do that let's move sean Penn is perfect because now we can have all the buffs right with sean Penn, this is the perfect setup right like this is the penalty mom perfect setup everything just dies right <clears throat> This is the perfect setup, but let's say we don't have champagne, right? It's the idea whereby we push with Unas, we push with Tia, and then we try to see what's going on there. So let's say, um, let's do that. We don't push. Let's say we have this situation, right? Your Tia won't be pushing your Tevo. It will in fact push this guy, but this guy does nothing, right? Like he does nothing. Like if this was a um a dahlia dahlia just uses her th her second skill there which is nothing which is really not what you want from your tier now the best espers to deal with that is it's um it's espers that are actually like well uh, the best candidate is champagne and not everyone has champagne because with champagne you can do the third skill and then she and then Tia moves after Champagne, which means she will push Champagne to the front. And then Champagne can use this skill to push your far, your slow DPS to the front. And your slow DPS will have horse, will have soldier, and will have cannon. Which that is the best situation. So what now? Let's say maybe Tia is your fastest, right? Let's say, okay, screw your Dahlia, screw your um who's this guy screw your dahlia and then screw your unas what then um the problem becomes this one now you have okay champagne is faster that's stupid <laughs> let's say your tier is faster than your champagne right like this is the world we're living in we're living in a world where ta is faster than champagne the problem there was going to be actually let me let me do this ah so stupid let me do this let me not use champagne let's say t is your fastest and you have something like that right so tia moves first and you want tia to pull you want her to like not use up this lady here's the core problem let's say you want to go tia then her then tevo and that's how you speed tuned it right you want your tia to go and then maybe your unas or like your attack buffer right you want ta attack buff dps the problem here is that ta is gonna push your damage dealer to the front as opposed to your attack buffer well that that's not a great example but if Tevo was a little bit faster you guys saw with the priorities there with the switch your Tevo was gonna move way before your um your attack buffer and it was going to be a problem as a whole right you don't want that to be what's going on so um that's my case my case um let me sort of like i don't know <laughs> basically wrap it up to make it make sense number one we won't be able to just put tia into a normal cliff team why because she will pull the people you don't want to be pulled maybe you want your dps to be after your your your, your ap pusher she will push the ap pusher because um the ap pusher if if if, if it moves before ta it will become the last unit right that's point number one point number two is that sometimes uh it might be good to have your ap pusher and then have someone like sean Penn, right 
or like a faster DPS like a Gaius to then strip and then you can pull Gaius again with your tier to then cleave. So basically people who have two strong, um, two strong skills other than your DPS, right? She is not good at just pulling DPS from the end to be ahead because as you saw, she still has to push others as well, right? She still does the absorb with 30. It's not only the switch, she still does the absorb with 30 and then sharing it among allies. So like if, if everyone was just slower than maybe your fastest, your closest fastest, it'll get cut. Um, you won't get your DPS to move before whoever you want to be faster than your DPS or like your slower DPS. So it's not as simple as cut and join. Is her buff good? Her buff is very good, right? Like if, if you get him, some of the things Tia wouldn't be able to do, right? She now has a 100% chance to stun and you don't even need to scale her up. Like now if you do that, look at that. Everyone was almost stunned, right? So it's, it's already, it's a good buff. Like we can't, we can't hate on it and be like oh it was a bad buff definitely a good buff and this one as well is also good because now you can put her right she's at the end there in any long game it's gonna be her turn right which means for stuff like rta ta just became a lot better than most but it's not better than a kanji like let's not let's not do that because i've heard rhetoric of saying it's better than cj it's better cj you can um pick who you swap with so i want tevo to swap with that one i can pick or i want this one to swap with this one i can pick it is not picked for me by because of highest and lowest so the condition makes it such that it's her own thing and she's not just a dumb switch thing right like kenji is stupid tia is more methodical in your um what's this in the way that you handle your ap and speed tuning for the rest of your team so i hope that video has helped everyone definitely i had to go deeper and look into exactly how broken they say it is and it doesn't seem as broken though very good you will need to build your team rebuild your whole team specifically for tier to work as great as you wanted to do this has been kovian thank you for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video deuces